In today's episode, you will learn how to monitor the heartbeat rate or heartbeats per minute using the pulse sensor, Arduino and a 16 into 2 LCD. In this video, I will explain how to get the stable BPM values. You can see a change in the values as I start breathing fast and slow. In this video, I will also explain under what circumstances you get unstable values. While using this sensor, you will definitely come across this problem. I checked so many videos and read so many articles, but nobody was actually talking about this problem. In this video, I will explain when you get unstable values and how to solve this problem. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the pulse sensor which is also known as the heart rate monitoring sensor. This sensor module is provided with the transmitter and receiver LEDs. The light observing property of the hemoglobin is used in the measurement of heart rate. Light from a green LED on the underside of the monitor is shown on blood vessels just under the skin. The light that is not absorbed but reflected back is captured by a photo detector. The photo detector produces an electrical signal when light strikes it. This analog signal is converted into a digital signal. And slight changes of this signal are used to measure the heart rate. As you can see, this pulse sensor has three male headers, which are labeled with S, plus, and minus. S is the signal pin and will be connected with the analog pin of the Arduino. Plus pin, which is the middle pin, is the VCC pin and this pin will be connected with the Arduino's 3.3 or 5 volts. While the minus pin is the ground pin and this pin will be connected with the Arduino's ground. As you can see, ground is connected with pin number 1, 5 and pin number 16. 5 volt from Arduino is connected with pin number 2 and pin number 15. The middle pin of the variable resistor or potentiometer is connected with pin number 3 of the LCD, while the other two pins are connected with the ground and 5 volt. Pins 4 to 7 of the Arduino are connected with pins D7 to D4 of the LCD. Pin number 8 of the Arduino is connected with the enable pin of the LCD. Pin number 9 of the Arduino is connected with the RS pin of the LCD. The VCC pin of the pulse sensor is connected with the 5 volts, but you can also connect this with 3.3 volts. The S pin of the pulse sensor is connected with the analog pin A0 and the ground pin of the pulse sensor is connected with the Arduino's ground. Now let's discuss the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure that you download a library for the pulse sensor.
can open this program by clicking on the file menu then examples then pulse sensor playground and click on the getting BPM to monitor As you can see, this program is exactly the same. The only modification that I made is the addition of the 16 into 2 LCD. I have a very basic getting started tutorial on how to use the 16 into 2 LCD. I will provide a link in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. This code can be downloaded from my website. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. All the components are interfaced as per the circuit diagram. First of all, power up the Arduino. As I hover my finger above the pulse sensor, you can see a change in the values. This is just because of the transmitter and receiver LED. When you tightly press the pulse sensor, then you get fluctuated values. So try not to press it hard. When you slightly press the sensor, then you get stable values. The slight fluctuation which you will see is just because that I'm breathing fast and sometimes slow for the demonstration purposes to explain how the BPM values changes. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.